It is a standard rubber bouncy ball. Let's see what happens when we crush it with our hydraulic press. This is what's left of the rubber bouncy ball. It just turned into a powder of mush. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video. Today we have a British hockey ball. It's really hard and it doesn't bounce that much. Let's see what happens when we crush it. Well that, I was expecting that to shatter, but surprisingly not. It just, oh, sort of, just turned into a dome shape with the pattern of the press on there. It's pretty cool. Let's try and do it sideways and see what happens. Well, that is like sort of dough, but yeah, it's pretty hard. Uh, I was really expecting that to shatter. Well, that's pretty surprising. I mean, I can't squash it, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I was really expecting that to shatter, but it didn't because it seems really hard when you play with it and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Today, we have a golf ball. Let's see what happens when we crush it. Wow, that is pretty cool. I mean, the outside layer is like still kind of together, but the, some plasticky rubble inside. And yeah, that is pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Today we are going to try and cross a football. Let's see what happens.
Ah, that was so loud. Ah, <laughs> that, you probably didn't hear it on camera, but that was so loud. The pressure just built up and absolutely just exploded. Wow. Now let's see if we can find the hole. If we can find the hole. Oh, here. Here is the rip that caused the pop. Wow, that build up of pressure really made a big bang. Wow. Let's just try and crush the ball further. just yeah ripped it to shreds wow it's really warm inside and yeah that is what's inside a football and yeah cool oh I still can't hear because of that pop that is how to destroy a football thanks for watching we have a tennis ball and let's see what happens when we crush it That, like that air pressure built up and that just exploded. Wow, I was not expecting that. It's just completely just obliterated the ball. Thanks for watching. Underneath to hold them in place. I'll put the steel plate on. Now, let's. Take a look, it just like oozed out of the side. One escape there, but look at that. <laughs> look at that shape though. A triangle of squash paint. Was that that's a pretty cool pattern right there? This will connect to the duct tape. Oh, look at that. So the duct tape back. We've got a bit of cleaning up to do now. And yeah, so that is what happens when you crush paintballs with a hydraulic press. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Today we have a half inch solid steel ball bearing. Let's see what happens when we crush it. That has completely pressed this really solid steel ball into just a piece of flat metal plate. <laughs> now I'll try and get it off with a screwdriver or something because I can't, cannot do it by hand. It's dented the block a bit and I'm gonna try and get it off using this chisel. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, it has completely just flattened the ball bearing. One side rounded a bit, one side flat and the metal block that it was on has a nice big crater, kind of like a bullet hole in solid block of steel. Wow, and that fits in nicely in to that hole there. Thanks for watching, I have this aluminium tin foil ball. Let's see what happens when we crush it. Let's take a look. Look at that. That. Oh wow. Wow. It's 
really hard. Next, that's pretty cool. Let's fold it again. And again. And again. Now, let's crush it. Take a look, wow. Wow, that is really hard. That is really tough. How about, let's crush it side on. Let's see what happens. Yeah, wow. Completely compressed it. Very hard piece of aluminium. Lots of individual pieces of tin foil squash together to make a nice strong aluminium block that's pretty cool thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video <laughs> <laughs>